The workflows, first of all, they have a trigger. Because we're building an agent that will be able to interact with you by chatting with you, by listening to your question and providing an answer, we need the first trigger that will be a chat trigger. So click for at the first step. And on the right hand side, that's all the different triggers available. And we click on chat interface. In this window, we don't really need to do anything else at this point in time. We can leave it like that. And here we are. We have when the chat message arrives, that's our trigger. Our agent and the workflow will be triggered when the chat message arrives. Next step is to add an actual agent. There's various other options available. You can work on the message that arrives, check for particular terms, check for words, check where it came from. You can orchestrate the workflow any way you like it. In our case, we will put straight an agent. And here is going to be AI agent. Now the AI agent itself uh, can be configured in multiple ways. If you've seen the episode one, we already talked about the prompt and the token and what those different things mean. And in this particular interface, we can leave it as it is for now. We will talk about how to design a custom bespoke prompt in one of the next episodes. But for the time being, this is a good enough. To make this basic example work, we need to add an LLM. LLM as you already know from episode one, is a large language model, and we have multiple choices here. For our particular example, we will add OpenAI, one of the most popular LLMs on the market.